a lot of rappers still it seems like want to be Tupac. They want to have his popularity. They want people to love them like they everyone loves him. But why do you think no one's succeeding? <laughs> well, because I, this is what they fail to realize about Tupac. In order for them to be Tupac, they would have to die before they peaked. Like before they peaked, they would have to die. So if you don't like, you don't die. You, you can't do it. Bottom line, if you don't go die. You're not gonna be the next two five, cause it ain't gonna be the next two five. Straight up. We was recording Players Anthem in it, our first session, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that shit was crazy. Now, we used to Players Anthem, and then, um, you know, Get Money is a huge record. Yeah. Getting Money is almost a huger record. You're almost, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this is that remix was very tough. Tupac famously took that remix and made his own version. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hit him up. Hit no him up. It's not just a diss record, but he became a big, huge, huge record. Yeah, so uh, it was a commercial shit, I was, hit. Outside of No Vaseline, that's probably like probably one of the fucking craziest diss tracks ever. It's definitely scathing. You know, when you start getting personal, it gets yeah. scathing. Yeah. Um, but beyond the personals. With Big, he mentioned your name several yeah, times in the yeah, record. Yeah. Which I think shows a lot of things. It shows how close you and Big was. Yeah. But it also shows how close you and Pac was. Yeah, yeah. And that's why, that's the only thing I get, I, I get joyful out that song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I'm like, because I think that tells people the tale. You know what I mean? Like, he knew me. Mm -hmm. To say my name the way he said it, mm -hmm. He he knew. That's like, like like the story I just told you. That, that happened on a few occasions of me right. going, happened to go do something for him if big not around type of thing. You know what I mean? So he he knew. To me, that's more than anything for me. I'm cool mm -hmm. with that because I actually understood him. I knew what he was about. Mm -hmm. I You know, once I knew the situation was coming, we knew him enough to know, like, he's going to speak on shit. He don't bite his tongue. He don't hold back from nothing. He's going to speak his mind. We just ain't think he was going to go that hard. Like, right. God damn, my nigga. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Hard. Damn, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, yeah. he, he jumped out the window. We the knew, window. like, once we knew... All right, it's, it's it's some it's, it's some some misunderstandings. We know he's gonna speak on that. He don't hold no water. That's one thing we all knew. We've been around him for for some time. You know what I mean? But I didn't think he was gonna really like go that hard. But you know, we didn't even trip about it. You know what I mean? Like you know, yeah. you, ain't, you ain't hear us make no diss songs. No no rebuttals back. You know what I mean? Big was like, let that shit ride. Cause big thing was hopefully I can get up with him and you know we could talk this shit out. You know what I mean? But we was ready to make a song. You know we we. We had shit, you know, we had shit lined up, right? You know, but Big is like, nah, don't, we not doing that. That's not the, that's not the energy we're, 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 yeah. we're trying to bring to the table. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building, and this is Machiavelli Media. So Lord Seas breaks it down once again with Talib Kweli about, he ain't hit him up. Him and Biggie knew that Tupac was going to speak his mind. He was definitely going to say something back, but they had no idea Pac was going to go in that hard. It's crazy to me. I could only imagine what C's and Big was thinking when they heard hit him up for the first time. For y'all that didn't hear this story, let me explain it to you on my end. My homeboy boy hit him up by on a mixtape. We listened to it. And he asked me my honest opinion. And I swear to God, I told him somebody was going to die. It wasn't that type of diss track. Like, you know, when you hear like Ice Cube versus Common, the bitch and you and all of that, you had those ooh, ah moments. Like, ooh, you hear what he just said? Oh, ah. Yo, that shit was hard. When I heard hit him up, it was like, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> Somebody's going to die, man. It had like a different aura to it. It wasn't like fun loving. It wasn't like competitive. It was brutal. And it's, you know, funny to me that his C's try to laugh it off. He was saying that, you know, it was, uh, kind of flattering to hear his name because apparently he knew, Tupac knew his value in the whole situation, like being Biggie's right-hand man. So he was like kind of flattered that 
He heard his name on the track. It was big to him. But he said something that I've heard several times. Kind of heard something contradicting. They said it was Puffy that told Big and the guys to stand down. Don't feed into it. But C said Big was like, nah, don't diss him. He even said Big went as far as wanted, wanted to uh, get in front of Tupac and had an opportunity to talk to him and, you know, reconcile that beef. And that's cool. But Pac said he smashed Biggie's wife. And by all accounts, he really did it. <laughs> I don't know how y'all cool again after that. And even if he wasn't the only one smashing, from what I'm hearing over the years, you know, um, she wasn't exclusive to Biggie like Biggie thought she was. And she said he wasn't exclusive to her on his end either. But it's a little different, you know, when, uh, you know, somebody beating your chick, man. I don't know how Biggie could have got past that. But back to C's, man. You know, he said um, the new Pac was coming. He knew he spoke his mind. They just didn't have no clue to what degree he was willing to go. You know, it's an old saying, all is fair in love and war. You can't tell somebody they go, they're go going too far if you're on the ring with each other. You know how it goes. I'm just, you know, I'm confused, man. I just don't understand how that was laughable to them. I know time heals wounds and and all of that good stuff, but I guarantee you in 1996, Puffy, Biggie, and Lil C's was not laughing when Tupac dropped hit him up. That's a fact. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to sub to the channel. This is Machiavelli Media. Turn on them post notifications so you'll be the first ones to get it when I drop that shit. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm your homie Gab. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.